Oh, ladies, it's so nice to see you. Glad that you're including the old PC in this little issue. Shut up, Robert, please. Look, if we found the baby and Hillary, they'd be with us. Now, just don't start. Commissioner, we really thought she would show up at that cabin. Wish fulfillment, officer. It's the only lead we had. Do you have anything? Just words. I'm sorry. Oh. If I don't find that child, I'm never going to forgive myself. Of this woman, an irrational, unbalanced one. I don't know. She, I mean, she's very distraught. Obviously, she lost a child last year. I, I think she took BJ on an impulse. Something snapped inside that. Well, Angel recommended her. Duke hired her. I left our daughter with her. Then she listened to reason. Yeah, I think so. I, if I speak to her first, she will. I'm sure. Good. I'm going to call uh, Tiffany and have her put a PSA announcement on her news show. If we've got to grovel to this woman to get the child back, then so be it. I'll speak to Tiffany. You go home and get some sleep, and you go home and get some sleep, and Tiffany, well, she can go on the air. No, I'm not going anywhere until BJ is back here with us. I absolutely agree, sir. I'm in this till the end, period. Look, Hillary knows me, right? She knows what she's done, and I need to speak to her. Let's get this straight, you two, right Look, now, okay? Look, Sam is the best person to do this. And I want Sam on air with me, too. I see that I'm totally outgunned here, all right? You want to make your TV debut? Go to it. Thank you, sir. Hello? Oh, uh, hello. Um, this is Anna Lady here. Please come speak to Tiffany here. Thank you. Tiffany? Hello. It's Anna. Listen, this is very important. Um, Murphy! What the hell is this? A stolen property requisition that made at 5 a.m. in the morning by Chief Lewis and the bloody thing hasn't even been filed yet. What's going on around here? Some business with Sean Donnelly. Sure. Sean Donnelly. Sir. Tell the Chief I'd like to see him right away, please. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Okay, I'll see you then. Thanks, Tiff. Bye-bye. Right, we're on the air at 2 o'clock. She's going to put out promos every 15 minutes until then. Try to run it again this evening. It's on the off chance that we don't have Hillary and the child in custody. We will. We'll have her by then. I hope. Come on. Look, we've got to change. We can't find people. Okay, we'll change. Good luck, ladies. You'll instruct all the telephone operators on what to do? We'll get on it right away. Chief Lewis, there's yes. a phone call for you. Okay, thanks. Uh, Steve, thanks for all your help. Let's keep in touch. Huh? Mm -hmm. I don't worry about Robert. He'll be okay once he knows what's going on. Yeah, well, my neck is on the line. He's sore as hell it's right now. Especially now he's trying to crack this baby napping. Well, how's that going? <sighs> Nothing here. It's like a stone wall, but these things tend to break all at once and not at all. Uh, how's Tony handling? Oh, he's not yet. The whole staff has strict orders not to break the news to Tony. When I leave here, I'm going over to see BJ and Robin and Anna. So I'll be sure to give them all your love. So you're sure that it's not a little bit more than a social call? A day off. Yeah, but friend Bobby could turn into nurse Bobby and uh, take care of a little girl that's a lot sicker than anybody cares to let her daddy know about. Tony, that's ridiculous. Well, I just find that people have an easier time lying to a blind person than they do to a sighted one, and they have the best intentions, but you know, those little fevers sometimes could be like a cold in the lungs. Is that what's happened? No, that's not what's happened. If that were going on, I'd want to know what you did the last time. I'll get it. Tony Jones' room. Bobby, is that you? It's Robert here. Oh, yes. Hi. Uh, as you're speaking from Tony's room, I take it you can't talk, right? Right, but I was hoping to hear from you. I'll keep this simple. First, there's no news. I'm sorry. Yeah, we all are. Anna and Sam, however, are going on Tiffany's news show to make an appeal for Hillary to return, BJ. That's a great idea. Now, since Tony can't talk for himself, would you go on air to speak for him? Oh, of course I'll do that. Good. 
Then listen, get yourself over to the channel right now. I warned Steve that the broadcast is coming on and not to let Tony hear it. Uh, I can take care of that. Who are you talking to that you're so agreeable with? Robert Scorpio. To him. Uh, Robert, hold on. Tony wants to say hi. Hello, Commissioner. How's life in the big world? I understand our two children are sharing a lot of playtime together. Yeah. Robin's having a ball with BJ. Loves it. Like a couple of sisters. Oh, terrific. Oh, what about you? Ready to go home? <laughs> yeah, I'd walk through walls if I could, but uh, due to my condition, I seem to only walk into them. Well, it's good you've got your sense of humor back. Maybe I should come in and visit you soon, hmm? Oh, please. You wouldn't believe how boring it is for a patient in the hospital. You know, I've come up with this theory. I think a lot of patients die just to break the monotony. Yeah, well, it was good to talk to you, too. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye. So Robert said he meant come and visit me soon. Oh, well, that's great. Um, Tony, I think I should go. I have to go to the bank, and I want to stop and get something from BJ. So you'll be good until I get back. I can't be anything else. Ah. Ooh, you smell nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jones, what are you up to now? Hmm. Oh, I'm just uh, trying to find out if you've moved the bed on me or anything, Hilda. Oh, I know it must be boring for you, but I have solved that problem. You have? I got you a remote control for that television set. Let's see if the thing works now. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> 